Hey everyone, welcome back to The Place on the Internet where we were testing every single mask in the world. This week we are testing masks from India. Looking at the Venus mask today, it's one of the more popular masks in India. Let's put it in the clamper. Very nice spun bond. I'm a little skeptical here. Let's see what it does. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out more about how this bad boy works, check out that link. One important thing is we are just testing the fabric. We are not testing the fit. You need both fit and filtration when considering the right type of mask to wear. All right, the Venus mask. Uh, seems to be a pretty legit brand. If they're doing powered uh, you know, uh, respirators and everything, uh, this is the V1010 ear loop surgical mask. Class two, I'm not sure what that is. Now they're saying a BFE of 98%. Bacterial filtration is not really important when it comes to COVID. You need to look for PFE. I think this is misleading. I don't like when they do that. Um, in the standards in the United States, you, you want a 95% as a minimum standard. Um, 95 is an ASTM level one, or uh, an ASTM level two or three is 98%, but that's PFE. This machine is testing down to 0.1 microns, right? 0.1 microns, which is actually closer to the size of the coronavirus. Interesting, let's look at this. Uh, let's take a look at the box. They got check marks, someone's doing this by hand. Customer care, okay. So there's, they're not saying what type of it is, they're just putting the different classes. Oh, they're saying it's class two. Okay, this is interesting, this must be an Indian standard. I'm not familiar with it, but they're saying Bacterial filtration of 98%, differential pressure of 29.4, splash resistance. Oh, here we go. Submicron particulate filtration C. That's what this machine is testing. Not familiar with the standard. Uh, a 0.1 microns. And they're saying it's 98%. So this is not, this is class two. This is not class three. So in India, they're not making any claims on on what this is doing. But I will tell you that if you can uh, block bacteria at 98%, you can probably block this at around like at least 90%, I would think. Uh, let's take a look at the, open the box here. But their claim is not making a claim according to this machine. So uh, I just think it's a little disingenuous to put the, uh, you know, but you know, different cultural thing. If we're talking about COVID and the question is, is it gonna protect you against COVID? We need to see, you know, probably 90% or better. They're printing right on this. I've seen this a lot in India, which is great. This is a, uh, uh, they're actually putting the lot number on there, which is crazy. Um, and then this is a nice fold over, which typically makes the, typically makes the lips. I don't love the box is just flopping around. I like this type of box. If you see this type of brown on the inside, they're like going cheap, 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 cheap. Um, I can tell, I can kind of see through the melt blown. The spun bond is ridiculously nice quality. Like it's some of the best spun bond I've seen. That's the outer layer and the inner layer. That's what protects you against water. Um, just the quality of the spun bond is great, but I can see through a little bit. So I can tell you the melt blown is not great. Um, it's construction seems pretty good. Although when I did that test, your loops, nah, nah, nah. All right, let's try to smell. Wow, that, that nose wire is insane. It's a really nice nose wire. Let's put it on. Mm. I'm gonna call this a well-used recycling bin. That has only been used to recycle like old books. <laughs> it smells a lot like paper. It's the cardboard. Um, good quality mask on the construction side. Um, I'm not surprised by that based on the stuff that they're making, but does it protect you? Let's check it out. PFE of 68%, 68.021, 68.021, not ideal. Now, caveat here. Apparently, according to the box, which is the first time I'm reading of it, the Indian standard uh, below class three has, has nothing to do with this machine. Um, it is very surprising to me. I would be very surprised. I'm not going to grow bacteria for you here because it takes 24 hours to do the BFE test <laughs> and I have to grow bacteria. I'm not really, it's not really a thing I'm into. Um, I would be very surprised if this is going to pass at 98% uh, as it claims on the box. 
uh, when the, uh, the PFE is coming in at 68%. But according to the Indian standard, I guess it may pass. I can't really call them out on that. However, I would not trust this mask. Personally, I would not wear this mask. 68% is too low for me. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful or interesting. Uh, you know, I always love likes and subscribe feeds my ego, uh, but to be honest, what I'd really like is uh, check out the link uh, to all of the tests that we've done for India. And if you find a mask, if you have a mask from India, particularly if you have the whole box that you could send us, I would love to test it because we've got about 30 of them here, but, but I'm, India is a huge manufacturing company, amazing when it comes to manufacturing, I'm sure. And I've tested, you know, hundreds from uh, the US and from China. Uh, so I'm sure we're missing some masks. So if you find some masks that we haven't tested, please send them our way. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next test.